What's up guys and gals, we're back at it again with some more of Tooth and Tail. I covered this game a couple of months ago, about six months ago actually. It's been a while since I covered the game last, and I had a chance to talk to the developers when I was at TwitchCon, and they were super nice, they were really great guys, and they were like, yo, we got our story mode coming out. And I was like, oh shit! And so I saw my buddy Paradigm9, he's my best friend in real life, he streams on Twitch TV. Uh, if you wanted to check it out, Twitch TV slash Paradigm9. Just check his channel out, he streams after I do every single day at 6pm, 6 6.30pm 6 PM in there. Uh, Tooth and Tail, he was playing it the other day, and I didn't even, I forgot about the story mode until I saw him playing it, and I was like, dude, I really want to play this right now. So let's check out the story mode, shall we? Let's play, new game, yeah, let's do this thing. I told my son, we won't work the farms, no. We won't eat the food of beasts. We'll eat meat, as any civilized animal does. But when the civilized called a harvest, and the city feasted on my boy, we took to the warriors and lit the country aflame. Who decides the fate of animals? The long coats? The common folk? The KSR? Or the civilized? Whoever triumphs will go hungry no more. Those who fall will be dinner. Damn, that was so hyped. This wasn't in the game the last time I played. The civilized are fat from feast, and now is our chance. Damn right. Rally the troops. Rally round the flag. I am the cursor. Oh shit, get him, long coats. It is time for us to lead. Go, my squirrel brethren! No squirrels! No squirrels, you're getting blown up by dynamite. Don't get- don't get taken out. Shoot your little guns, gloriously! Uh-oh. Oh, it makes us retreat. Yeah, attack them over here. There you go, that's how you do it! Unleash those gats, squirrel- Uh-oh. My squirrels kinda got- my squirrels kinda got rolled on. It's unfortunate. Uh, I don't think that I'm very good for squirrel and kind. Ooh, brothers, dig some warrens to bring in reinforcements. Hell yeah, let's get reinforcements. To my flag, squirrely brethren. Let us go forward and destroy. Advance upon the bullet hives. Uh-oh, ow, 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 my ass. Ass! All right, shoot them, shoot them. Fire at the bullet hives. Unload upon them, little brothers. Destroy the enemies of our kind. May the ratlings feast forever. Glorious mortars will be brought to those who bring me the flesh of our enemies. For the common folk, for the long coats. Air units incoming, fall back behind our defenses. Oh shit, let's go! Back behind the defenses, fall back, fall back, fall back. Everybody back over here. Oh yeah, there they are right there. Oh shit, they got little, oh my god, they're little birdies with gats! They're little birdies with gats! Unfortunately, they had a terrible day. Those birds did not have a good look. Alright, continue forward, for the animal kingdom will be ours. If I rally well next to an enemy, the army will focus on it. Yeah, you should definitely do that. Oh, I gotta focus. Gotcha. Oh, you can increase your DPS on these. The big guns are coming in now. What are the big guns? Ooh. Yeah, there we go. That's the kind of stuff that I'm looking for. Advance to the enemy grist mill. Everyone fight. Everyone kill. Everyone destroy. Some animals are more equal than others. And we are the most equalist. I'm not gonna lie though, that pig looks kind of delicious. I kind of want to eat him. I love bacon. Like, I love bacon. Bacon is the best. There are very few things in this life that I enjoy like bacon. I know it's a cliche on the internet to say you like bacon. Because, like, who doesn't like bacon? You know what I mean? Apparently that stink squirrel down there need to get murdered. Take that stink squirrel out. He allies himself with the enemy instead of the righteous human front, or the righteous animal's front. Uh-oh, I've given myself up as a spy. They're gonna find out that I'm on the enemy's team. Oh, there's their grist mill. Destroy it. Destroy it. Lay it low, brothers. Focus your fire. Ooh, we get like a, yeah, there it is. The long coats will feast, you're damn right we will. Bring them forward, for eating my child, I shall eat them in return. The revolution is begun. Sleep well, my child. I promise you, the civilized shall feast on innocence no more. Hey, ya boss. Glad you weren't hurt out there. The Bonapit riots were just the beginning, Vash. You may have driven off Archimedes for now, but he'll soon return, and when he does, some of us will see the wrong and the end of his feasting table. What about you? Hey, boss! We're doing just like you said, planning for the long haul. 
Turns out after your little stunt in the bone pits, Archimedes reached out to his old comrades in the KSR. Now he's got Chris Mills churning out meat in the Black Sledge, and the Quartermaster's got a KSR goons keeping watch. The civilized. They're building up their ladders, raising an army. But we have a surprise for them, yes? Just like you said, boss. We got tunnels running all the way out there. We'll take those civilized Chris Mills and be back here in time for Cheska's. Well, there you go. So we've got ourselves a new mission. And so I've got the Distillery Brothers. Conscripted into service and certain of their doom, the untrained Distillery Brothers charge into battle fueled by fermented acorn courage. Dude, they've got acorn liquor? That's amazing. Customers beware. While the freight union guarantees speedy delivery, their contract provides no warranty on the state of the goods during shipment. God. Okay. Uh, so he's just a... He's a... He's a weasel with a... He's a weasel with a mortar on his back. All right. Um, should I do their mission right now? Can I not leave the room until I do their mission? All right, let's do their mission then. Let us go. We will feast upon the enemies of our people. So I should build a warren. So with the space bar, that's going to let me build a warren. The warren will automatically recruit units. Hell yeah. Let's get some units then. I can build other unit types as well. And so we can actually swap in between our units like so. And so this warren costs 120 food. We don't really have that much food. I mean, I guess I can. There we go. We'll build that guy right there. Our food is a little bit low, though. Our food is a little bit low, though. I think we need to know, though. So we can have six of the squirrely guys. Bring them forward. Squirrely guys, come with me. Oh, that's a turret. Let's not go that way. That thing seems like it might burp bullets on us, and I don't want to get bullet burped. Bullet burp be all kinds of bad. So does it work its way through when you want to build this stuff? Or was that warren actually not even done yet? It seems like those take a minute to build. Let's go scout, little squirrely brethren. Let us go forward. Destroy that thing. Kill it. Kill it. Shoot it in the face. Shoot it in the face. Shoot it in the face. Murder it. There you go. Nice job, guys. Nice job. Well done. Shoot that one, too. Shoot that one, too. Eh! Back behind the lines. Back behind the lines. That's right. Small arms fire. Go get him. Here, I'm going to rush up on him. I'm going to rush up on him. There it is. Give us that little DPS bonus. Take him out real fast. So we can rally the distillery brothers. Everybody with me. Everybody with me. Uh, we got enough food to where we can make... Can I do another Warren? I don't know if I need another Warren. Like, how many mortars do I actually need? I don't know. Make another Warren. Yeah, Distillery Brothers are good. Give me another one over here. I like Distillery Brothers. We're probably spending more food than we have at the moment, but I'm going to do it anyways. You guys go up to there. Fire at that thing. I'm going to get on top of it, and we're going to wipe it out. Oh, it's the enemy farm. Go get him. Go get him. Go get him. Yup. Put guns on them. Those pigs got gats, but they think they know us like that. Unload on these fools. Go get them. Everyone rally to me. It looks like we're going to get that grist mill right there. Yup. Make it fall fallow. Got it. All right, so let's bring these guys over to here. Uh oh. Oh, I can rally my distillery brothers to here, and then I can actually do other stuff in other locations. Okay. Uh, bring. Oh, I have to swap. Okay. Bring them over to here because they might be able to mortar this thing. Bring them over here so they can mortar that turret. There you go. That's what I like to see. Wipe that thing out. It can't fire back. So that's the perfect range right there. It's like when you had rocket troopers in Command and Conquer. And then with the rocket troops, you could hit the flame towers from just outside of their range. Exact same thing. Uh, let's bring you guys over here. Go ahead and mortar that. I'm going to swap over right here to the Stillery Brothers just in case they need an escort. We're looking pretty good right now. We're looking pretty good. Are you guys going to take care of that thing? There you go. That's what I like to see. Everybody with me. Everybody with me. All right. Fire on that thing. Go ahead and get it. Cool. Fire from behind the cover and then get up here. And then if you can fire at anything, make it happen. Kill those fields if you can. Get rid of those pigs. Yup. We will feast upon them just as they feast upon my child. Because obviously purporting ourselves in the exact same violent way as our enemies is going to fix this. Clearly that's going to lead to the solution here. It's not just going to turn everything into a giant disgusting bloodbath. Go and fight my little brothers. Alcoholic minions, we rule forever! The long coats feast! Man, I'm feeling pretty hyped about this game right now. And yeah, a revolution's begun. So I can replay his mission. You guys got a mission? Hey, boss. Glad you weren't hurt out there. Alright, well, we don't need to talk to them right now. Who else we got in here? Got another little squirrely dude. I heard the civilized took your son, boss. What a waste. He couldn't have been more than a morsel. They did indeed take my son. The modern animal eats his meat. The food of the beast is for criminals and swine. If my revolution is to succeed, I'll need enough meat to feed an army. The criminals and swine may yet come in handy after all. Meat is what you make of it. Never really liked this slogan, but my patrons seem to. Hey, boss. 
Listen, I don't like them yellow cloaks any more than you, but they did feed us. They fed you my son. Sure, sure, sure. So why are the rest of us fighting them? I mean, aside from the fact that you're the boss. Have you ever heard of the sage sending one of his own to the kitchen? Of course not. And they did feed you. Your fate is already sealed. They're only fattening you up for their next feast. Huh. Yeah, you're right. The civilized are getting fat on our bones. I want to get fat on theirs. Hey, boss, we did like you asked and got some grist mills up and running the black sledge. Let me see if I got this right. We got swine work in the fields, they plop the grain in the mill. When they power the mill, it turns the grain into the food, and how does that work again? Alchemy, my friend. Wonderful, delicious alchemy. So he's the one that's got our next quest for us. What's up, bird guy? Ah, engineer can engineer. Does revolutionary know how to uh, revolutionary? It's simple. You click the rally button, and armies comes and fights enemies on the way. It's called advance. If you hold the rally button, the armies only fights baddies next to you. This is called a focus fire. No enemies, and the armies retreat. So I uh, click an army advance, hold an army focus fire, or then they retreat. Gotcha. Hey, uh, if Longcoats want to keep freight union labor, we're going to need some days off. We're at war. No days off. Fridays. You'll give us Fridays and we'll fight. <laughs> How do you take a day off from war? That doesn't seem like, I don't know, war seems like kind of a, ooh, what is this? On tap, Grey Orn, Three Harvests, and Warlord. Today's special is Flank of Katrina. <laughs> Who's Katrina? Orn's good tonight. Same Orn as last night, Pash. Are there dudes hanging out in the bathrooms over here? I'm perfectly fresh and clean and I don't need the washroom right now. Serena Nicolos, bless her. I met her a few harvests back and when this is all over, I hope she can forgive me. Forgive the long coats. What is this? A long coat's oath to freedom and to wealth. In a state of nature, the long coats rise. Okay. I do like this new little area that they've got right here. This inn where you can kind of take in the world and get a feel for... I don't know. You can get a feel for the way the world works. The environment around you. I think that's important to a game if you really want to sell the idea of the game. Is if you can draw the player into the idea of what the game world represents and what it's comprised of. And you can get them interested in that. They'll play the game even if it's not that good. Luckily this game doesn't have that problem. This game is quite good. This game is very, very good. Uh, but at the same time, you can never add too much frosting. Hey boss, uh, we may have a bit of a problem. What kind of problem? So some of my brothers were working in the mills down by the dock, and uh, they mentioned seeing a yellow cloak or two. I didn't think nothing of it though. But now, we're not getting any reports back from the docks. I think the civilized are making their move. Then so must the longcoats. Prepare our bullet hives. We must defend the docks. Okay, here we go. So the objective is to help, and the heroic is to finish with 16 farms. Gotcha. And so we've got uh, our bullet hives right there. Is that all that we get? We just get bullet hives? All right, let's go. We will bullet hive this thing on up. All right, so let's build some farms. I can't build that right now. It looks like the farms cost... How much? How much do the farms cost? It looks like they're already doing their thing over here. And so R can burrow. If we want to travel quickly, we can go in between grist mills. Gotcha. And we can emerge over here. Sweet. I had actually completely and totally forgotten about that mechanic. So, there it is. Uh, we definitely need to have some more farms, I guess. Archimedes will try to destroy me. I should build my defenses. Okay, uh, put a bullet hive right there. And right there. Let's have a look around and make sure that there's not any other access points to our base. Looks like we're solid over there. Down this way. Oh, there he is. He's scouting over here. I see his ass. I see him trying to be sneaky over here. He's trying to get my ass. I see it. You can't hide from me, Archimedes. I know what you're up to. There we go. Build those things up. A man of such indulgences earns no respect from me. All right. Uh, we got to finish with more farms, though. Let me see if maybe I can get that up and running. There it is. Bunch more farms ready to go. We're probably going to need some more bullet farms, so hopefully we start farming up some food really good. Uh, we got bullet hives over here. Go ahead and give me another one right there, just in case. I don't know if they're going to push from this direction. This actually looks kind of dead. I don't know. We'll build down this way, and we'll worry about it later, but it seems like maybe that's not the direction we want to... Oh, that's on the edge of the map over there. That was stupid of me. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, there it is. Shoot that fool. Put him down. A rising sun looks equivalent to a setting one. That's a little poetic. 
It's a little poetic. We got a gap over here. So maybe I'll put in a couple right there. And then if he's going to be sneaky over here, we'll go like one right there and one right there. Keep myself nice and safe. Flying units might prove to be an issue. But for the moment, I think we're all right. I can put a bullet hive right there. And it looks like I can bullet hive over here. Uh, farm's under attack on this side. Uh, pull them back to, yeah, pull them back to this mill over here. Pull them back. So I need to get back over here, and they got snakes and shit. Uh, yeah. Give me a few more turrets. I don't know how many of those I can have, but I need to have mo. Put a couple in right there, and he's coming back. And so he's getting took out. He's going to have to wait till he can respawn. I think all of my farms are ready to go. They're not advancing or anything, so... I'm not going to stress too heavily about it. Each one of those looks like it holds eight. And so we just need to populate the two in order to make this work. Can I drop these, like, anywhere? Like, if I wanted to put one right there, could I? Well, if that keeps the snake right there, by all means, take the snake by the tail and shoot those fools. Shoot them! They're coming in! Oh, please shoot them! Please shoot them! Oh, we got the heroic victory! Managed to defend our bullet farm. Hell yeah. Or I guess our meat farm, but then we took bullets, and so I don't know. So that's done right there. Do they change up what they say after a while? Okay. So they, they don't say anything different. We just unlock new areas each time we win. Hey, boss. Orn's selling for a pretty penny right now. Turns out the war is a pretty good time to be a long coat. Who else is down up in here? I got to talk to some squirrels. Boss, ain't you worried about a chaos R raid? The chaos R in service to the Zarina, bless her, not the civilized. But ain't revolutionizing, you know, sort of illegal? Won't Quartermaster drag us all to the kitchens? Trust me, she'll stay out of it so long as we keep fighting out of the city center. I'll handle the KSR. You and your brothers just keep the Orn flowing. Alright. South No Oak got moldy in transport. If the copper isn't dead already, I'll have to... Or the Cooper isn't dead already, I'll have to fire him. Ah, uh, where have you been? We missed you at the riots. Oh, that was me saying that. Sorry, boss. Got into the Grey Orn and was sleeping it off. Tell me what happened. Uh, we already did that. We, we have already taken care of business on that front. No, there's a dead squirrel back here. Oh, he's alive. Never mind. He's okay. Just had to check on him, though. The custodial room, which is under repair. Do not enter. All right. So I've been wondering something, boss. How are we going to feed an army if we, ain't, if we ain't eating our own soldiers? Why do you think we stockpile swine? They don't complain of their fate, and I don't complain of their taste. Yeah, but ain't there only so many swine to go around? Maybe we should consider eating, well, I mean, you know, uh... What, the food of beasts? You've been hitting too much of the ore, my friend. Alright, can I go in the bathrooms yet? Let's go have a look. I want to see if I can get into the potty rooms right now. Get on in there. Looks like the washrooms are off limits. We'll keep on moving. Let's see what's up with this next mission. I like this game a lot. This game is silky smooth. Right, so I've got a new idea for a main course, Bellified. Enough to clear our plates. When the civilized built their grist mills outside the city, they did so on my family's land. My brother thinks it's time we took it back. Pay him well, and he'll burn the civilized grist mills to ash. This coup is nearly over. There is no coup, Unc. I don't care who stands atop in the end. The Longcoats will seize power. That seems the natural consequence of a revolution. But what I want most is to see Archimedes kicking and screaming as he dragged atop the Roncoat's feasting table. Well, then there you go. We gotta do what we gotta do. Uh, we've got the Hardest now healthy, and the Longcoats are now poised to purge the civilized from the city. Recruit Butter's brother and burn the civilized army to ash. So if we can claim six grist mills, uh, we can get the heroics. So we've got a bunch of new units here. We've got Uncle Butter, which is all kind of... Uncle Butter sounds like the kind of dude that sells you a shirt out of a trunk in front of a Costco somewhere. Like, I'll just be on our Sam's Club. I'll call it a Sam's Club because that makes the joke funnier. Before the war, he's known as the country's greatest gourmand. Uncle Butter still cooks his meat, but he no longer kills his prey first. All right, let's go. We got stuff to accomplish here. Let's get food up and running. I think food is by far the most important thing that we can get trucking. I already have a farm waiting. It looks like they are trying to hear. You guys rally to me. What's up with you guys down here? Oh, I can recruit them. They're mercenaries. Okay. And then alternatively, can I build a burrow? I don't know if I can build a burrow. Yeah, build me another farm over here. We got to make sure that we keep ourselves strapped up. He wants 180 to be recruited. I will recruit you for 20. 
And so we can rally the group over here. It doesn't look like I can dig burrows, though? Oh, no, I can. I can dig burrows. We're good. We need to get some defenses, then. We need defenses right now. So let's go ahead and get some soldiers up and running. Now, we only have the one mill for the moment, so food's going to be a little bit tight. But I think we'll be all right as long as we stick to it. Yeah, I wonder what the enemy's up to, too. Let's go have a look. Probably up to no good, I'll tell you that much. 60 to claim a grist mill. Uh, bring everybody over here. So we got plus 10 HP from claiming a grist mill. Going to make us a little stronger. I don't want to sell it right now, but I do want to produce some more units. As soon as that thing's all up and ready to go, we'll kind of push on the enemy a little bit and see what's happening. But I need more food. We're not generating enough food right now. Uh, give me... Ooh, there's a bullet mill right there, too. Give me a bullet mill. Give me a bullet mill. We can queue up a farm for 60. And so I think that's probably a wise decision next. I'm going to call everybody over to here. And if I can get my food up and running, I'd be a lot happier. Uh, you guys hang out over here where it's not defended. Yeah, exactly. Just hang out right there and drop that fool. Take care of him whenever he comes around. And then if I can get these farms up and running, I just want to have lots and lots of food for the future. And so with two farms up and running, I'm going to have a look around while I wait for my money to come back. I don't really care if I get shot or anything like that. Oh, yep, there it is. Okay. Okay, they've got their front line on that side. Let's consider strongly. Good. I think we've got the pinch point taken on this area. So I don't want to sell the farm. I want to build a farm. We'll call this build a farm workshop if I have to. Stamp a teddy bear on the front of it. Come on, we got to maintain food superiority here. With two mills going, I think we got a pretty solid chance of that. There we go. And so now we've got all of our farms built. You guys stick with me. I'm going to look around. we got a couple more farms on this side that technically we could claim. But I think that might be a little bit brazen. Put in some guns. And some of these little pinch points down here. There we go. I just want to make sure our lines are defended before we go any further in. Uh, for 180 food, I can get the mercenaries over there. Or, alternatively... Yeah, now we got some serious firepower. Now we got that stuff. I'll probably build a warren over here where people can... It's 120 for each of those. There we go. So we'll get two of those so that we have we have too many squirrels right now. But I think that's largely due to the fact that we have a lot of mercenaries. And then I don't know if I should take the third mill. I probably should, right? Let's go take the third mill. We've got the money for it, so why, why worry about the whole thing? It'll give us some more space to build a front, too, which I think is probably a good idea. Uh, bring the mortar launchers over here. Actually, bring everybody over here. They're trying to run our line right now. Uh, mortar launchers, come over here. Oh, shit. Yeah, everybody over here. We got some kind of fire team right there. I don't know what the hell that is. We killed it. Oh, they've got parachuters. Good lord. All right, so everybody down here. Did we kill them all? Oh, my farm got messed up. Yeah, build that back. Build that back. Grist mill is under attack over here, so I... I'm going to put in a couple more turrets over here just to let the enemy know that I ain't down with that shit. And then a few more warrens I think would be would be satisfactory. I want my little squirrel dudes over here. Uh, rally you guys to me because I want to start destroying their little turrets over here. Yup, whatever damage you can deal, make sure that damage gets dealt. Go ahead and put some fire on them. Then, I want a squirrel swarm. Yup. Give me all the squirrels we can afford. I like the squirrels. The squirrels are fun because they're alcoholics. Ooh, suicide bombers over here. Okay. Alright. Uh, rally the squirrels over to here. Uh, we are being bombed at the moment, so everybody rally to me. Yep. Fire on this target. Go get him. Go get him. I don't care what you do as long as you get rid of him. I got to rebuild my farms because it looks like they did some damage to me. And we got enough units right now to where we can go ahead and return fire. Return fire. Get over here and start some trouble. Maybe if they're too busy defending their own lands, they won't have time to mess with me. Your farms have gone fallow? Oh, no. Does that mean we've gotten the maximum amount of food out of them? Oof. There goes one of their grist mills. So that's a good spot to be in. Uh, everybody over here. I don't really care if you die. I'll soak it with my face if I have to. And then I'll claim this grist mill right here. Uh, everybody over to this side. Kill everything you can. Yup, Zerg mob it if you gotta. We got pretty constant troop movements, so we should be alright. Cool. 
bring them all over here and set up a front right here. Yup. There you go. Set up a front right here so that I can spend some time making this happen. All right, we got some more enemies coming in. Everybody to me. Fire on that thing right there. Fire on that thing. Kill it. Ooh, wow, they're putting up a pretty good fight over here. They're putting up a pretty good fight. It looks like they've killed off a pretty solid proportion of my units. Uh, build farms. And then I'm going to go right here. Unified front. Oh, he's going to shoot that one down. Okay. That's fine. Get you guys over here. You guys rush them. Yep, do your thing. Go ahead and sacrifice yourself for the commonwealth. It's just little drunk dudes with pistols, but hopefully they can get the job done. Farms have gone fallow again, so unfortunately we're not really generating a whole lot of food. Yep, bring everybody over here. Bring everybody over here. Uh, yep, get everybody over here. Keep on pushing. You guys, maybe go over to this side. This game is intense, man. There's a lot of stuff going on. Uh, keep destroying that grist mill. Remove their area of influence if you can. Because those won't, I don't think, work anymore. If we wipe them out down here, maybe? I don't know. Uh, bring over the mortars, then. Bring over the mortars. Whatever we can kill is fine by me. Destroy it all. Oof. They did not want me to claim that grist mill. I'll tell you that much. They were not fans of that strategy. All right, you guys go over here. Uh, we'll take this right here. Put in a couple of gun emplacements just to make sure we're nice and safe if the enemy comes a knocking. Some kind of back in our territory too, just in case. And that looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with where we're at. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me for the first episode of our campaign of Tooth and Tail. I look forward to seeing you next time. If you guys like this, smash that like button. That's the easiest way to support the channel and make sure that we get to continue making videos every single day. It helps out a lot more than you would think. Aside from that, my name is Splattercat. I play video games on the internet, and I would love to have you. If you want to stop by again, by all means, do it. I stream every day at 3 p.m. on Twitch TV as well. And so if you can't make it here, maybe you can make it there. Uh, if you want to get the game, i got a link for you down below. You can purchase it and support the developers who are really, really nice guys. I had a great time at TwitchCon talking to them and sort of discussing the game and where it's going and everything else. And it's a blast coming back to revisit it. So it's very much my pleasure. I'll see you all next time. Hi, do everybody. Bye-bye.